Hello, my name is Amelia from the National Office of the Australian Institute of International Affairs. Today, I'm here with Ambassador Lee Si Hyung, President of the Korea Foundation, who is here attending the Korean Oceania Next Generation Policy Expert Forum. Um, President Lee, about the Korea Foundation, can you please tell me more about the Korea Foundation and the Foundation's vision? Well, uh Okay, uh, Korea Foundation is um, an institute affiliated to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Korea. While we are uh, working on the government budget, but um, in a way we uh, do um, as an uh, not 100% government agency. We work something like a 1.5 track uh, institute. So we uh, are promoting everything and anything about Korea, yeah. language, culture, people. So we uh, promote Korea to the international community and promote friendship and goodwill between Korea and the international community. So um, we do have a lot of activities, um, including the forum which we are having. So uh, I may. Uh, tell you some more in detail uh, if you want to know about it. Yes, please do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, basically, uh, well, we are uh, the Korea Foundation uh, was established more or less 25 years ago, to be precise. Uh, December last year was our 25th anniversary. During the last 25 years, um, we have been uh, working on uh, three pillars. We, uh, what we have done and we are doing uh, are uh, basically in three categories. The first one is um, supporting Korean studies abroad. Korean study uh, meaning, um, say, uh, lecture in the universities, uh, overseas universities out of Korea about uh, Korean literature, culture, language, people, uh, social science, and uh, any type of uh, studies on, on Korea. So we are supporting professorship. We are dispatching uh, visiting professors. Um, well, currently, we uh, have been supporting about uh, more than 120 professorship in more than uh, 80 uh, or 70 universities. Well, this year we started to support a professorship in Melbourne University, Australia. So that is uh, our <coughs> main, one of our uh, three main tasks. And second thing, what we are doing is um, to uh, network people uh, uh, I mean, people-to-people -people, uh, connection between Korean people and people out of Korea. Uh, so we invite um, opinion leaders of uh, uh, other countries, and uh, we are inviting uh, young people from uh, neighboring countries and others. And uh, we do the uh, bilateral forums uh, with uh, major partner countries to uh, exchange views on Korean situation, on the uh, Northeast Asian uh, issues and global issues. And uh, among those uh, forums, uh, this type of uh, uh, forum for young generation has specific uh, uh, attention from abroad because it is uh, specifically for young people. And lastly, we also uh, promote Korean culture by sending uh, our um, uh, introducing Korean uh, art performance, uh, Korean say uh, exhibition of Korean artworks or uh, musical troops uh, abroad, so that uh, um, giving the foreign people who are interested in Korean culture more opportunities to know about Korea. So those are basically uh, three. Uh, major areas which Korea Foundation is working on to promote knowledge and uh, awareness about Korea uh, for the foreign people. Okay. 
So what events does the Korean Foundation have upcoming? Upcoming, okay. Well, uh, what, what the Korea Foundation is doing, uh, I've just explained, and uh, what I'd like to add is um, the Korea Foundation is trying very hard to uh, win the hearts and minds of our uh, friends in other countries. Um, specifically, uh, I myself would like to get more understanding on the situation on Korean Peninsula. Uh, the Korea is still a divided country, still uh, in confrontation each other, north between North and South Korea. But um, basically what we would like to see is peace and peaceful unification ultimately. So uh, Korea Foundation's activities partly uh, focus on uh, promoting the understanding on the situation on Korea. So um, this year, as you see, uh, the, uh, the presidential election is only less than two weeks ahead as uh, from today. Um, we are going to have new administration, new president. And once new government, new administration is installed, I think um, the Korea Foundation needs to um, um, to uh, promote the uh, diplomatic uh, policy lines, foreign policy lines, and uh, domestic policies and policies vis-a-vis -vis North Korea, all those type of new policies, policy of the new administration uh, to be introduced to the major partner countries. So uh, in that sense, not only the government itself, but the uh, uh, Korea Foundation uh, has also uh, some role to play to introduce the new government's policy lines to the foreign uh, countries. That is a very important uh, issue of this year. Okay. Um, thank you for joining me today, Ambassador Lee. For more information about the Australian Institute of International Affairs, please visit internationalaffairs.org.au or follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you. Thank you.